Hello and welcome. My name is Gail Moffat and we are on live on A1R Psychic Radio and of course Moonstruck TV as well. Now, um, do you know what? I was thinking and I was just, before I came on air, I was talking to my guides and I was, because I always like to do a little talk and I was saying, what should I talk about? What should I talk about? You know, even these mediums have little panics. <laughs> and so, so there I am sort of thinking, what should I talk about? What should I talk about? And, um, and I'm inspired to really talk about um, um, two things, actually. And I, I wonder if I can get it, fit it, fit it in, in in five minutes, because because we do have some readers and I, and I do enjoy, you know, speaking to, to the callers very much. But anyway, um, so I... Uh, um, I, I, what, what, it, what they sort of inspired me to talk about is, you know how, sometimes, you know, everyone in our lives, we have a problem, you know, there are problems, you know, we're, we're not free of problems, and we might be free for a little while, and everything sort of goes along hunky-dory, and then, then there's another problem, and, and that's just life, isn't it? It's just the way it is. But I think the sort of with, with, you know, with our problems, I think it's important to sort of really have um, recognize our own light, um, our own light that we shine. Because in a way, we've been placed on a path. And that path is very, very important to, to our, our growth and, and, and our involvement. And if we if we deviate from the path, then, then we're, it's to our detriment in a way. So it's really important to be on that path. But this is what I like about things like this sort of A1R psychic radio or, or you know, opportunities where you can sort of connect to spirit um, about, about your path, about your life. And, and, you know, I was thinking that, and, and this is the second part of what Spirit wanted to talk about, is don't you think it's just, you know, with all the psychics and all the mediums that work, it, it, you know, each time they work and each time they open up, um, it's just an absolute miracle that, that, that um, God allows it, first of all, and that, and that we are able to connect to either a loved one that we are missing so dreadfully or it's that we are able to connect to, um, you know, my guides or, or somebody or, or, or a relative of yours that can give you some guidance um, in your life. And that very aspect, sometimes we just sort of take it for granted and just think, oh, yeah, that would be great to have a reading. And, yeah, it is, isn't it? I love having readings. Um, but I think it's, you know, when the, the more you think about it, you think, Wow, this really is a miracle, a miracle that um, someone that is in another place from, from the earth has ostensibly passed, whether that be one of my guides or, or one of your loved ones, is able to take that journey and come, come to me and then um, communicate. I think it's just a miracle, isn't it? And what they say to me, um, now this is really interesting, they say to this to me time and time again, is there are many miracles that go on um, all the time, um, especially, you know, when we don't even realize that it's going on and they just go quietly about their business. Um, so that's, that's really nice and comforting to know. But they always say to me, we must communicate with them. We must ask if we have a problem, ask for that help. And um, and I suppose that's called a, a prayer. And yes, it is. That's, that is what it's called. That is a prayer. But it's it, really a prayer is just communication. It's just saying, look, I need some help. Can you help me up there? Or, or can, you, can, you do, can you do something about this situation? And um, what I'm told is they do listen, which is, um, which is a relief, isn't it? <laughs> that they do listen. Anyway, I um, I think it's time to go for, to a caller, and I believe we have Susie in Bath, Ontario. Hello, Susie, are you there? Hello, how are you? I'm very well, and what a what a friendly voice you have. Um, <laughs> well, I've, thank I've been you, to Ontario. <laughs> I lo I love it. 
really nice place, isn't it? It is. It's very snowy right now, but uh, it's okay. lovely. Yes. Yes. Well, I've, I've been once in the winter, but the rest of the times I've been there, it's always been in the summer. <laughs> which is nice. Which is lovely. The, it's one nice. of the best times to come and visit, for sure. Yeah, yeah. very, very nice. Um, and I've been to... Um, been to Toronto a lot because I have um, some friends who live there and um, they, so it's always nice to be near the lakes as well isn't it and uh, absolutely anyway yeah so um, I am a medium and what that means mm -hmm. is that I am able to connect to either loved ones or I can um, look to give you guidance from my guides or one of your relatives that have passed is there a particular way that you'd like me to work? Uh, no, just uh, whomever comes through or whatever you're able to um, would be amazing. So I'd rather right. not uh, just pick and choose. It's whichever, whichever you feel. Okay. Well, it's okay to pick and choose, um, but it, it, I, can, I can work either way. That's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I um I feel like there's a lady and a, a gentleman that is coming through together um and I feel okay. that they are they feel very related to you um and and I and also they're very very emotional about this opportunity to come through because I feel that they haven't had this opportunity and it's something that they have longed for because I'm told okay. that um, that you're um, you're not necessarily um, inclined to speak to a medium. Would that be correct? <gasps> that I would love to. I have a few times in the past. Um, I haven't um, in the past year, then. but it is. Right. It, it's definitely been a little while. Okay, because um, I, I feel that um, that this couple, um, I feel like they're they're married. Uh, that they were married when they were on on this earth, and I'm I'm struggling to work out whether they are parents or or grandparents. But, but they do. But as I'm linking into them, they do feel like they have a lot of care for you and and are interested in your well being. I feel like there's there's a there's a real sort of caring aspect to them, um, almost parental. Would that make sense to you? Um, yes. My my stepfather has passed, but both my grandmother and grandfather on both sides actually are passed as well. So it, it right. could be... Uh, um, and just as you're talking, I feel like I want to go onto, your, onto a father's side um, and it's it's parents, grandparents. So okay. I don't know whether this is your real fathers, whether you. So in other words, your your real grandparents. Yeah. But this 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 oh. is a really emotional um, meeting for them. Okay. Because I feel that oh. they've never never communicated with you before, and and then it and must so be they, my father. Or sorry, my my biological father. I would think, and that's never what I feel because I feel I feel like there's an absence, but I feel like there's a craving, an absolute craving to to speak with you. Um, and, and they're and they're telling me that um, they're telling me that um, there was um, huh, there was was there a a problem with um with your relationship with them. Um, I wouldn't say uh, a problem. We we moved away. We lived in BC. We moved when I was young, and the last time I saw my my grandmother, my mom there was I was a a teenager. I want to say like twelve or thirteen, and and she passed, I believe, when I was around sixteen. Yeah. Because I, I, I really do feel that, that, that that's what they're talking about. It's like an absence. It's like a, a not being okay. able to see you and not being able to connect. And, and, I, feel, okay. and I feel like there's, there's that sadness there with them. Um, and I, 
but I also feel that um, they remember um, great times when you were young, and I feel like they were um, very loving grandparents and, and very supportive. Would you understand that or remember that about them? Oh, I quite honestly, I was so little during that time. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of my childhood that I, I really remember, unfortunately. Okay, well, don't worry, because I, uh, I'll just tell you what they're saying then. Um, so okay. so they're, they're saying to me that, that they remember you very well when you were a small child. And, um, and I feel like there, was a, there is a, a close relationship that you had with them. Um, but I feel like there was, um, I, don't know how, I don't know exactly what happened, but there were some difficulties that happened in the family um that, that that sort of ripped the family apart a little bit and and stopped you from from having that long term relationship would that make sense okay. to you uh i think so i think so um i think so um you're not sure it would have been my my parents divorcing and my mother and i and my siblings moving away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that's. I feel that. That. I feel that's what it is. And I feel like there's a real sadness that they they really didn't want that situation to happen. Um, but I also feel that they um, they don't. I feel like they don't blame. Um, I feel that this is quite important. They don't want to blame the mother, your mother, about mm -hmm. anything. I feel that that they they feel that, um, that it's almost like they they are apportioning. I'm not one for apportioning blame. But that's not my character. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like but I feel like they they are giving me the words where they. Um, they are not seeing your mother as as at fault. Um, they're see they're they're they're. In fact, I feel that they are um, almost like they are. Um, they wish that your your father had been um, better or different, um, and they feel that that things wouldn't have happened in the way that they did if it hadn't have been for your father. Does that make sense to you? I, yeah, that is and, correct. And, and they, they are saying to me that um, they feel that, that his actions caused all the problems and all the ripples and, and, and the eventual you moving away that, that, um, that is... To this day, they are sad about this. It's like they oh. haven't, um, because they feel that they missed out on on their grandchildren, and it really, really, it's like it's like they're ripping their heart out that they really struggled with with what happened. Um, and they're saying to me, um, they're talking about birthdays, and they're saying to me that they never forgot your birthday. Like they continue oh. to remember your birthday. I don't know whether they sent you things um, in the post, but I, or, or or what. But I I just feel like they didn't forget it. Um, they remembered oh. your 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 birthday, um, and and they're wanting to tell me that once they both found themselves in in spirit, they made a pact with each other that that they wanted to um, spend as much as they as time that as they could um supporting you in your life and and so because they are together they they have they have got my um just got my microphone <laughs> so, so because they are together they they're telling me that they um they found it it was it's important to sort of almost be your guide or or look after you in your life, and I think there has been many times in your life where they've been there 
to support you. Um, and I and they're telling me that um, today is no different um, because they're saying to me that 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 today is particularly important that they are here to support you because they're saying that that life hasn't been um, almost like kind or, or to you, and they're saying to me that um, that you're you're in need of like a grandparental love. Um, you're you're in need of their support, and and they're letting me know that they are very very close with you, and will continue to be close with you until you're back on your feet in a in a more positive way. Does that make sense to you? Uh, well, it's been a little bit crazy and hectic, so I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're saying to me that they they never stopped loving you, and they really want you to know this that that because of what happened, they don't want you to think that they were neglecting you or not thinking about you because they were, and that and just to let you know that they they really do love you and um, are always there to support and help you. Um, That's wonderful. I feel like there is an old photograph, and I feel like it's in black and white, um, that has them in it. And I feel that you may have it in your family. Does that make any sense to you? I'm, and I feel I'm not like sure. That, and, I, and I want to place you um, almost like you're four or five, six or seven, like that sort of age, you're, you're young young child and I feel like you're on a beach or or because I feel like you you're you're in it I can see you're in a swimming costume and you've got a bucket and a spade and and things like that and I feel that that you're um um there there is a picture um and I'm being shown that picture image of yourself um but I feel like they there is also a picture of them um I've got a feeling this could be a wedding picture of them that um, that that there is, and and I and they and they're they're sort of telling me that this this picture is in existence, and and I feel like they want you to have them. They want you to have these pictures because um, they want you to ha continue to have that connection and know that they are in your lives. Because I do feel that they are in circulation somewhere. I I don't know of that photo. I'll have to uh, ask around and and look through some stuff the next time I'm at my dad's house. Yes, yes. Right. Anyway, I need to go on to my next caller. So thank you very much sure. for calling me, and um, it's thank been really you. nice to speak to you. Um, so uh, we have Sierra in Walnutport, Pennsylvania. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello and welcome to the show. Um, my name is Gail, Gail Moffat, and I am a medium. And I can um, connect to loved ones um, in spirit, or I can look to give you some guidance. Is there a particular way that you would like me to work? I would love to hear from my angels, please. Your... Sorry, I didn't hear you. I the Hear from my loved ones, please. Okay, and who would you... We've got about nine minutes. Who would you like to, to um, connect, for me to connect with? Um, my dad, please. Well, before you said your dad, I, I heard dad, and he was standing right in front of me. Um, and um, so I, I, I believe I, I have him before you even said that. So um, he's, um, right, I feel like there's, there's a real sort of energy from the mouth going all the way down to the chest. Um, and, I, and I feel like there's, there's something that, that um, is linked in that way, in that area. Um, to do with his his passing would that make sense to you yeah um and he's telling me that um he 
he wasn't um I, I feel like he's he's um I feel like he didn't expect to 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 pass. I feel like he suspe suspected that he would he would survive. But um I feel like it feels um cancerous. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And and I and I feel like it was um almost like it was you see, this all feels unexpected. Like, um, yeah, it feels all sort of unexpected. Like, like um, this all happened quite suddenly. Would that make sense to you? Yeah. Because I don't feel like he had a great deal of time for treatment. I think it was quite far advanced when they discovered um you know where he was where he was at oh bless yeah. you um and i feel also with him that that he um he's he's telling me that he's he's a little bit sort of how can i put this a bit miffed a bit sort of annoyed that that he has found himself in this situation because have you got a brother? No. Okay. Right. Must be a, a, it. Must be a sister then. Um. Because I feel like you're the, the the. I feel like he's he's upset with himself that he couldn't be there to to support you in. Um. Because I feel like. I feel like he, I mean, I've, not, I've got no, I, I, obviously I can't see you, so I've got no idea how old you are, but I, I, um, I, I feel that he um, passed sort of unexpectedly young, and yeah. would that make sense? Yeah, and I, and I, and I feel yeah. that he, and, and I feel that um, it caused, um, once he passed, he's telling me that, um, there were some real struggles and difficulties within your family. Um, and I feel like your mother really struggled to sort of um, look after, um, you know, be a single parent. And, and, and I feel like there was, um, like money was, was tight and difficult. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. And, and I feel like that really, really saddens me. He's giving me a, a memory. Um, did you ever have like a, a small little tricycle or a small little bike where he he held the back and taught you to ride a bike? No, I was I was too young. Um, I'm being shown myself. Because I, when I was a, a little girl, we had this little tricycle, and I probably had it from the age of about three. Um, would would that would you have been that sort of age? I was I was not even one yet then. You were one, did you say? I wasn't yet. I was before I even turned one. Right. <clears throat> okay. Why, why am I seeing that? Um, and, and what I want to what I want to say is, <clears throat> I feel that um, he's telling me that um, he feels that that there was a really good bond and a and a fantastic relationship that he had with your mother, and he's telling me that there was a great deal of love between them, and and that she um, had had a um, I feel like was very sad at his loss for a long time, um, and it took it took her a long time to sort of recover and get over this. And I and I feel and I feel that um, I feel like she kept pictures um, around the house for a long time. Um, and I don't know if you remember them, but I feel like there are pictures around the house where where she. Um, she wanted to keep his memory alive, um, and and I feel that you you know him. 
through the pictures. And I feel like there's a real gathering of pictures that, are, that were displayed. Does that make sense to yeah. you? And I feel also, um, have you ever um, got um, a, a sort of a, a piece of jewellery that, that um, would be remembering him by? Um, none of my dad, no. My mom's boyfriend, I do. Right. So he's just showing me a piece of jewellery um that that is linked in some way um and and he so he's I aware of his... one in memorial of them maybe that's what he's talking about yes yeah that's exactly what he's talking about and and i think and and he he's telling me that he's aware of this and so that's really nice that he's he's aware of it um i feel also that your um I feel I feel that that oh what he wants to say to you is that um I feel like this you've been you've had um he wants to say well done to you because I feel like something's happened recently that is is quite exciting um for you does that make sense yeah and and I and I also um want to let you know that um Despite he, the fact that he hasn't been in your life growing up, he has been around you quite a lot. And I feel that, that and he wants to let, let you know that he loves you. And I feel like that somebody in the family shares a similar birthday to him. Well, I'm not sure. Same month. Same. Do you know when his birthday was? I honestly not on the top of my head, Dad. Don't know. Okay. Well, um, just to let you know that, that I feel that there is a similar birthday um, that that is is to him, and and that he's he's letting me know about this um, as it's just all evidence that he's he's around you. Yeah. 